Hi, my name is Mr. D, and today I want to take a look at an equilateral triangle SAT problem. So we have triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle, and triangle ADC is an isosceles triangle. If AD equals 10, what is the area of the shaded region? So we're trying to find the area of this shaded region, colored in green, and to do so, we want to make use of the information that was given to us. So we were told that AD equals 10. So the first thing we should do is label our diagram. So we could label this side AD as being 10 units long. So now we think about the other information that we were told. Since ADC is an isosceles triangle, we could go ahead and label other pieces. So if this side is 10, then the other side, DC, also has to be 10 because an isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. And also, by the isosceles triangle theorem, if this angle here is 30 degrees, then angle ACD would also be 30 degrees because the angles opposite the congruent sides are also congruent. So now that we have this, what we want to do is we're going to need to find the area of the big triangle ABC and subtract the area of the small triangle ADC. And to do so, we're going to construct an altitude. So we can label this intersection point down here E. And since it's an altitude, we're going to draw in the two symbols for 90 degree angles. But now, since we have 30 degrees, 90 degrees, we could go ahead and label the other angles in here 60 degrees. And we'll just label one of them, but now we know that we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So if we go to the reference sheet, we can make use of the triangle there to find the length of the missing sides. Otherwise, you would have to use the Pythagorean theorem and it just creates a lot of extra work that you don't need to do. So for this example, we have the hypotenuse of our triangle is 10 units long. And in general, in the 30, 60, 90 triangle, we could represent the hypotenuse as 2x. So we're going to set 2x equal to our hypotenuse of 10. And now solving for x tells us that we have x equals 5. And remember, opposite the 30 degree angle is our side x. So we could set this piece here equal to 5. And opposite the 60 degree angle is x radical 3. So we could label AE as 5 radical 3. So all we did at this step is solve for x, and that allows us to fill in the other sides based on the general 30, 60, 90 triangle. So now we think about this, and we could move on and just find the area of the small triangle, but let's fill in some other information. Since the big triangle is equilateral, this tells us that all the angles are 60 degrees. So if this piece here is 30 degrees, then this piece BAD, that angle also has to be 30 degrees. Because in total, this whole angle has to be 60 degrees. And now we look up top, this was a 60 degree angle, but because we dropped down in altitude, we know that we're going to be bisecting this angle. Once again, this is not too proof oriented. We're not necessarily going to be proving why this is 30 degrees, but if we wanted to, we would show that these two triangles are congruent. Therefore, they would have to share the 60 degree angle equally into two 30 degree pieces. So now we observe this and notice that triangle ADB is once again isosceles because it has two congruent angles. So if the side opposite this 30 degree angle is 10, then the side opposite the other 30 degree angle also has to be 10. So we just found that side DB is equal to 10 units. So now we have enough information to solve this problem. We're going to find the area of the big triangle, which will indicate with a bigger triangle. And in general, the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So one half the base times the height. And now the height of the big triangle from B to D is 10 and from D to E is 5. So the entire height is 15. So we have a height of 15. And now let's analyze what do they mean by one half the base. Well, notice that AE and EC are equal in length. 
So this tells us that one of these segments represent one half the base. We could add them together, 5 radical 3 plus 5 radical 3 is 10 radical 3, and then cut that in half to go right back to 5 radical 3. Or we could just observe that AE is one half the base and substitute that right in. So we have 5 radical 3 times 15. So the area of the big triangle, 5 times 15 is 75. So we have 75 radical 3. But this isn't our answer. It's tempting to circle choice A. But remember, we're subtracting the area of the big triangle and the area of the small triangle because that's going to tell us the area of the shaded region. So now for the area of the little triangle, we note that the height of the little triangle is 5. So we're looking at one half the base, but remember, one half the base is 5 radical 3. And we're multiplying by the height 5. So then the area of the little triangle equals, and we have 5 times 5 is 25. So 25 radical 3. So now to find the area of the shaded region, we're going to subtract the area of the big triangle minus the area of the little triangle. So if we have 75 radical 3 minus 25 radical 3, that means we have 50 radical 3's. So our answer to this problem is going to be choice B, 50 radical 3. Okay, well this is going to conclude this equilateral triangle SAT video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.